Come on in, folks. Hey. Holy Just cow. Just signs everywhere. That's a beauty right here. I'm like dumbfounded how many signs are in here, dude. Since the inception of American Pickers, the show has been hosted by Mike Wolf and Frank Fritz. However, when Frank suddenly stopped appearing on the show, he was replaced by Robbie Wolf, Mike's younger brother. Robbie is no stranger to American Pickers and has briefly appeared on the show for some of the most exciting picks. Unlike Frank, Robbie is a businessman who only came to the limelight when he became an American reality TV star on American Pickers. He shares similar qualities with his brother Mike. However, he comes from a different business background and has a different philosophy of being a picker. And fans of the show are not too happy to have him replace Frank Fritz. So join us as we examine what really happened to Robbie Wolf. Brother. Dude, this freaking looks awesome, doesn't it? Yeah. Look at this place, isn't it nuts? Yeah. Well, I'm trying to take it all in. I'm just, I'm. It looks like a neon museum. Yeah, it looks like a museum. neon museum, I know, yeah. right? Yeah. Robbie was born in 1960 in Joliet, Illinois. He was one of three children born to Rita Wolf, his mother. Every Wolf kid has found their way into reality TV. His sister, Beth Wolf, is also a TV star. Before becoming a reality TV star, Robbie was interested in music and tried pursuing a music career, but he left that for landscaping when it didn't pan out as he had hoped. As kids, Mike and Robbie shared a tight bond. The bromance between the duo is evident in American Pickers. They both love cars and motorcycles and can be seen posting pictures of these antique vehicles on their social media platforms. As for what inspired their career path, Mike had always had a thing for antiques, so he got interested in seeking them out. This has led them to have a successful career on and off screen. For Robbie, picking started when he was a kid. He and his brother Mike didn't grow up having a lot, so picking was something he put into perspective. I grew up in an era that basically it was a throwaway society, but when I was growing up, my grandparents never threw anything away. Their mom got divorced when they were very young, and she worked hard to make sure her kids got everything they needed. To help her, they learned how to repair these bikes to bring extra money to the family. Mike and Robbie often found their way to garage sales hosted by old timers to find valuables and other goodies. By talking with these old timers, they often listened to stories of what these people had to sell, and they found those stories to be even more intriguing than whatever they came to buy. These stories increased their passion for picking, and the wealth of knowledge they'd gathered over the years is why Mike and Robbie always seem to know something about every object they encounter on the show. Since Robbie joined Mike on American Pickers, he has built his own reputation and improved his popularity. In addition to featuring on the show, Robbie runs his own company, RJ Wolf & Sons, a landscaping company with its headquarters in Davenport, Iowa. For two decades, his company has specialized in backyard transformations. Transforming backyards doesn't qualify you to be a selector of antiques, but Robbie has found his way to being a regular cast member of American Pickers. How did he do it? When Frank Ritz left American Pickers, the fans were shocked to see him go, but he left because he was going through problems that he hadn't made known to the fans. After his exit, he explained that he needed the time off to recover from a back injury he had been dealing with for a while. Frank had let his injury go untreated for a while, and when he finally went to the hospital, he realized he would need 185 stitches and two rods in his spine. Not long after his absence, it was announced that Frank had been fired and would be replaced by Robbie Wolf. The fans of the show couldn't comprehend why Frank was fired because it seemed cruel to fire someone who needed time off work to take care of health issues. Some of the show's fans think Frank was fired because he mentioned in an interview with the US Sun that his back injury resulted from him doing all the heavy lifting on the show. But Frank has refused to say anything about why he was sacked, so we may never know the exact reason why he was excused from the show. In July 2021, Mike confirmed in an Instagram post that Frank was no longer a part of American Pickers. He said, I have known Frank for as long as I can remember. He's been like a brother to me. I will miss Frank, just like all of you, and I pray for the very best and all good things for him on the next part of his journey. When Frank eventually spoke about his termination from the show, he pointed out that the show had always been 1000% tilted towards Mike. He even went on to say that he was sabotaged by Mike because Mike wants Robbie on the show. He said, I think Mike wants to get his brother Robbie in there to replace me. I don't know why he's behaving like that towards me. According to Frank, Mike knew he was struggling with his back. 
He knew it needed to be checked out but did nothing to save his job on the show so Robbie could replace him. And when the cast photos for the 23rd season of American Pickers dropped, it was confirmed that Robbie Wolf would be Frank's replacement. This felt like proof of Frank's claims and sparked some controversy. Before appearing on American Pickers, Robbie was once sentenced to 150 days in jail. He was arrested for his criminal mischief and interference with official duties at a sports bar. The incident happened in 1993, when Robbie was just 27 years old, about two decades ago. The statement provided by the police in an Iowa court mentioned that Robbie got physical with one of the officers, causing bodily injury and damaging glasses valued at $250. Despite the severity of the offense, Robbie didn't go to trial. Instead, he admitted guilt and accepted a plea deal. He was sentenced to serve 120 days for assault and criminal mischief and another 30 days for interfering with official acts. However, Robbie's jail time was suspended, and he completed his year-long probation and treatment. Since then, Robbie has remained on the good side of the law. Now, when he's fully into the antique business and appearing on American Pickers, he even runs a shop where people can walk in and look at the items he's picked over the years. When Robbie finds an item, he has no problem selling it. Most times, when he finds something valuable, he already has a buyer in mind and doesn't need to advertise to get it sold. Robbie has enjoyed some measure of success on the show, but the fans aren't too excited to have him there. Since Frank Fritz's exit, the show has suffered a decline in viewership. Many fans have taken to social media to express displeasure at how Frank was treated. Fans have taken to Reddit to talk about how Robbie knows nothing about antiques. To some fans, Robbie is boring and cheap. They talk about how he pushes hard on people who are just trying to sell their heirlooms to get by. Other fans have also commented, saying how the addition of Robbie turned them off the show. A Twitter user commented under a tweet by American Pickers saying they won't watch the show anymore because of how Frank was treated. Despite the hate from the fans, it looks like Robbie's addition to the cast of American Pickers will be permanent. Since joining the show, his net worth has significantly increased. He recently spent around $700,000 on real estate. He bought a commercial property in his hometown of Davenport, Iowa. The 8,576 square foot property is reportedly worth $200,000. He also bought six acres of land for $80,000 and an additional property for $45,000. Robbie invested $335,000 in a joint residence for himself and Melanie in August 2017. The 3,722 square foot marital home boasts an open floor plan, high ceilings, maple floors, four bedrooms, four bathrooms, and many more features. Robbie's career has benefited greatly from American Pickers and Frank Fritz's firing. He would not have been able to spend as much money on the dream home for himself and his wife if he had not made a significant profit from the show. Away from American Pickers and business, Robbie is a big sports fan. He follows college football, and judging from the home games he attends and posts on his Instagram, it's safe to assume he's a Hawkeyes man. Robbie is also a family man. His daughters have picked up on his enthusiasm for sports. They play soccer, and Robbie spends a good deal of his time going to watch their games. Despite having a thing for antiques, Robbie doesn't enjoy restoring cars. He believes that removing the paint, dust, or rust from the car strips them of their story. Rob's definition of car restoration is to make it operable. He's a big hot rod guy and is borderline obsessed with classic cars. He's also a car enthusiast and a walking encyclopedia for old automobiles. Like Robbie passed the sports buck to his girls, he passed the car buck to his son. Together, they look for old cars they can fix and get driving again. Robbie enjoys discovering old things. He sees it as a way of bringing people together and connecting with history on a deep level. Robbie is having a swell time on American Pickers, and we hope fans of the show will get to like him just as much as they liked Frank Fritz.